Hello everyone. Welcome to this video series on accounting for IGCSE students. As seen in one of the previous videos, a business maintains a cash book as a part of the accounting records and it includes a bank column to record all the banking transactions. So when the money is received, the bank balance increases and the cash book is debited and when a payment is made, bank balance decreases and the cash book is credited because the bank account is an asset and the rules of debit and credit for assets are applied here. The bank shall also maintain records of each account holder from their own perspective and record all the receipt and payment transactions in the customer's account. The bank may send to the account holder periodic bank statements which are a record of all the transactions recorded by the bank in their account. If you have ever come across a bank statement, you would notice that there is a small change in the way in which entries are recorded by the bank. Receipt transactions that are recorded in the cash book on the debit side are recorded by the bank on the credit side whereas the payments are recorded by the bank on the debit side of the bank statement. This is because deposit by an account holder is the bank's liability towards them and has to be repaid eventually. Hence deposits in the bank account are recorded as credits and withdrawals as debits. If one were to compare the closing bank balance as per the cash book with the balance as per the bank statement, ideally they should be the same because they record similar set of transactions. But most of the times they are not the same because of the differences in the two records. The differences in the cash book and bank statement shall be studied under the following three classifications. First is the timing differences. Second, transactions which are recorded in the bank statement but not in the cash book. And third, errors which are committed in the cash book or the bank statement. Timing differences are transactions which are recorded in the cash book and the bank statement on different dates. Hence, in between these dates, the closing balance of cash book and the bank statement may not be the same. There are two types of timing differences. First, Checks issued but not presented. When checks are issued or paid, the entry is made in the cash book on the date of payment based on relevant source document. However, the payee may delay the deposit of the check in the bank and hence resulting in check not being presented for payment. Unless the check is presented, the payment entry shall not appear in the bank statement as the bank is not authorized to pay without a signed check of the payer. The second type of timing difference is the checks deposited but not credited. A check received is recorded in the cash book on the date when check is received or when pay in slip is filled and the check is paid into the bank. However, it may take a few days for the bank to credit the amount of the check in the bank account. This is because of the check clearing process wherein it takes a few days for the interbank transfer to be completed. Meanwhile, the balance as per cash book may not match with the bank statement if the check has been deposited but not yet cleared by the bank. Then there are certain transactions which appear in the bank statement but not yet recorded in the cash book possibly due to lack of knowledge of the transaction or lack of relevant supporting document. Some of these transactions are bank charges and interest on overdraft. The exact amount deducted by the bank towards charges and interest may not be known to the business unless the bank statement is received. Then interest credited by bank. Similar to the charges, bank may also credit interest, the exact amount of which is not known prior to receiving the statement. Then there are direct credits and deposits in the bank account. Customers or debtors may deposit the amounts due directly in the bank account without giving any intimation about it. Hence, they remain unrecorded in the cash book. Then we have dishonored check. A check deposited in the bank is recorded on the debit side of the cash book. However, the fact of dishonor is not known until the bank statement is received and hence remains unrecorded in the cash book. Then we have standing orders. Banks are given instructions to pay fixed amounts at fixed periodic intervals from the bank account. These are not recorded in the cash book due to lack of supporting document available. For example, monthly loan installments, rent payments, etc. And lastly, there are direct debits. Bank may also be instructed to pay periodic bills on behalf of the business by directly debiting the bank account without any written authorization before each payment. For example, monthly utility bills. All these transactions are found in the bank account but remain unrecorded in the cash book. Hence, the balance as per cash book may not match with the balance as per bank statement. There could also be differences in the cash book and bank statement balance due to an error in any of these records. For example, omission of a transaction in the cash book or the bank statement, transaction being recorded at incorrect amounts or error in balancing, etc. So here we've seen the various possible reasons for the difference in closing balance as per the cash book and the balance as per the bank statement. In the next video, we shall learn what is a bank reconciliation statement and how to prepare one. If you think that the video is useful, please like the video and share it with others. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive notifications when more videos will be uploaded.
If you have any feedback regarding the video or you have any doubt regarding this topic, please comment below the video or you may WhatsApp me or email me on the details mentioned.